Hello, so welcome to another Warframe video. So today we have the two infested weapons, the Trumna and the Sepulchrum. I decided to do these videos together because they sort of behave the same and, you know, I, I see them together. So I thought, fuck it, I'll just do one video, so they're all in one place. Um, we'll start with the Trumna. Now, the Trumna, I think it looks really cool. I think it's a very chunky boy. Um, space laser, sort of like the Chuck Kerr. Um, and yeah, so the fire rate is very slow, very slow fire rate can be effective with speed trigger, which I'll get into. Um, and it also has a very slow reload, one of the slowest, very, very slow, but it, that's, it's fine. It, it makes up for that with the damage. Um, it also has a special gimmick where if you kill five enemies, uh, you get a grenade launcher. So it does this and they bounce and it's affected by multi-shot. I only got one there. But, um, yeah, so it does a grenade launcher, it does fat damage, it's very, very good, uh, very, very good alt fire. Um, it also has low ammo in the in the ammo pool, so 200 and 400 in the bank, so 200 in the magazine, 400 in the bank, so you run out of ammo quite quickly, um, if you're not killing enemies and stuff and replenishing that. Um, let's talk about its base stats quickly, so we can go over the build. So, the base stats, 24% uh, crit chance, um... That's pretty good, pretty good from, on a primary weapon. Uh, normal, standard, critical multiplier of 2.2. Um, slow fire rate, um, quite a large magazine. Uh, and it has a very nice status, so 30% status. And that's on the auto. So if you go down to the semi, which is the special, it has 38% crit chance and 50% status because it's obviously just one big grenade launcher. Um, slightly higher critical multiplier. Does impact innate and uh, a radio attack of heat. That's another thing about this weapon. Um, it has slight explosion damage. So you shoot, it does a small area of damage. Um, so it's affected by crowd control abilities, especially when you group in. So the build. Now, this build is interesting. It's more interesting than the Sepulchrum because you can do a lot with it. So standard, we have serration, split chamber, and heavy caliber. Our standard damage and multi-shot, yada, yada, yada. Heavy caliber, I really like on this weapon because of the... Um, Grenade, grenade launcher, it has a bit more of spread, you know, they, they sort of go in a random direction and you can get a bit more AOE out of it, especially if you're not using any crowd control. Uh, point strike for the crit chance and vital sense for the critical multiplier. Um, we have our dual stat elements. I was going to do normal elements, but I think overall, I think the dual stats do better in this because proccing more is, is, is nice. And the reason why this build is more interesting than the... Um, the other one is that you get a free slot to do whatever the fuck you like with. So we have hunting munitions in here because it doesn't do any innate slash and having slash on this weapon is very nice. Um, especially on the grenade launcher because once you proc that and you hit that hunter munitions you're doing fat slash procs. Very, very, very fat slash procs. Um, viral also works on this weapon but just, just for this video I'm using corrosive. Um, another build you can go for is the same build, exactly the same. Except I've swapped out argon scope now argon scope i think does a lot more for this weapon than hunting munitions um because you can get over 100 percent crit chance and also that buffs that stupidly high crit chance just it just you know big damage very very big damage um so yeah there's a lot you can do i also tried speed trigger in here you know swapping out getting a bit more fire rate um anything and on that you know set a set of elements but i think the crit really really um complements this weapon so overall it would have to be hunting munitions for me and also argon scope um i am not using any arcanes uh i'm not using my cat which gives crit crit cat whatever um and yeah that's pretty much the build so i'll show you what it does i think i think argon scope does better it here but the slash procs are very very nice so if you're going to take this into uh, still path. I think overall hunting munitions will serve you better, but for this um, argon scope, which I will show you in this build um, Does a lot more. So let's see what it does against normal enemies So I'll show you quickly show you the explosion radius thing Which is kind of like if you shoot here, you know, I'm sort of still hitting him. It's a very small arc So like don't expect very much from it um, So with argon scope a level 150 corrupted heavy gunner. See you later That's pretty much what that that primary does and you can see I'm building that meter and there you go. Very slow fire rate, but once you get there, you chunk. So now I've got Argon Scope in the top right. I'm going to quickly use my special. And they're all dead. Um, yeah, that's pretty fat damage. 
Pretty, pretty fat damage. So, the thing I don't like about it is the fact that you need five kills. I wish they would have changed that to, like, um, consecutive hits on target. Because, imagine you're in the steel path and you can't get five kills because all the enemies are so, so tanky that you're, you're like, level 200. You're, like, 30 minutes into a steel path survival and you can't kill anything with the weapon to gain the charge to do the big damage. So, instead of getting the kills... I think it should have been like consecutive hits on target or or headshots to build the to build the meter or any of that um, would have been a little bit more practical um, so you can get off the grenade launcher a bit more. But besides that, yeah, it's, it's an all-round solid weapon. Um, I'll show you what the hunting munitions is like as well while I'm here. So it does slightly less, but the slash procs over time um, will will melt, and yeah, it does stupidly fat damage. So it's slightly slower, but it's overall it's it's about the same. It's not there is you know it's, it's very it's a very small amount in it. Um, I think slash brock is very very nice, especially on this weapon. So once I build it up, let's go over here, and I will shoot these. I got very very fat slash procs there. You see those? Just one hit. They didn't die immediately, and then the slash hit them for like 40k, which is fat fat slash procs. So it's good. It's a good weapon. Um, that is the Trumner. I think, I think there's not much more else to say about it. Uh, oh yeah, with, uh, Mirage, obviously, because it's a grenade launcher, and, like, the Brahma and, and Mirage in general, the damage you deal when you are with your three and first ability, you do a lot of damage. A lot of scary damage. That is fat damage. <laughs> like, very, very fat. So I'll try and get the grenade launcher off if there are enemies here. There are not. I will go and build one up quick. Alright. Brief technical difficulties. I'm back. Grenade launcher. With Mirage. And they are deleted. I didn't even see any numbers. That was just fat damage all around. So yeah, that's the Trumner. Now, I like I said, all around very, very solid weapon. However, I wish they'd changed the, the gimmick um, so we can get those grenade launchers off a little more often. Okay, on to the Sepulchrum. Now, this is pretty much the same thing. The gimmick behaves slightly differently, and that's about it. So, it's a pistol variant of the Trumna. Um, so, slow fire rate. It's a revolver-style weapon with 90 in the chamber and 100 and 180 in the, uh, in the bank. And that's pretty much what that does. Very slow reload. Um, it do because of the way pistols work, it does a lot. It kicks out a lot of status, a lot of numbers, a lot of bullets all at once. Um, low numbers, but that doesn't matter because there's so many. Um, you do a lot of fat damage. Uh, the gimmick, uh, the gimmick slightly behaves slightly differently. So with this gimmick, uh, you you have to target the enemies like this, like like McCree. You get five of them, and once you shoot, they seek the heads, and they. Uh, destroy the enemies and that's pretty much what the gimmick does it's slightly different um i think the trumner's more interesting for me personally but the spokram still has merits now let's talk about the base build so like the trumner it has a very high crit chance the status is slightly lower but that doesn't really matter um on the burst which is the uh alt fire the special fire it has higher status and higher crit chance um, does an eight slash on the on the actual weapon itself, so that it is that is good. So we don't need hunting munitions. Um, it does decent slash, enough slash you can get a few procs in, um, and that's pretty much what this weapon does for that. It also has a radio attack, which is sort of like small, a small area, like very very small. Like when you shoot, it has a little area of effect damage, um, quite a high drop off. So don't expect too much from it. So the build that I've gone for is. Pretty standard once again. We have Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, Fire Rate, Multi Shot, Multi Shot, Hornet Strike. You know all that, all that good stuff. Um, Two point eight Multi Shot. So we are kicking out a lot of damage very quickly. I have Prime Target Cracker and Prime Pistol Pistol Gambit. Um, crit Crit Chance again, exactly the same as the primary. I have my Dual Stat Elements because status works really nicely on this weapon. And our gimmick, like Argon Scope, is Hydraulic Crosshairs. Um, again, you could probably swap this out for like Magnum Force, you know, Auger Pact, um, and any kind, you know, fire rate. But I like Hydraulic Crosshairs because it really buffs that crit up, um, especially when you're already at 102% um, for the special. It does a lot, a lot of damage. 
So I will show you what the weapon's like and what it can kill. So this does quite quite well actually, in my opinion. Like absolutely decimates level 150 corrupted heavy gunners. Now they're nothing on the steel path, but still like 150 is is nothing to scoff at. And the alt fire, obviously you saw it, so I will show it with Mirage. Buffed up, standing in the light. Shoot up there. Lots of damage. And you delete all the enemies, and it's great. I think it's just, I think it's a really solid weapon. But once again, um, I'm not happy with get, trying to get five kills with it because still path. You know, you, you get to that point and you're like, well, I can't, I can't kill the enemies to get the special off, and I can't use the special to kill enemies. Yada yada. And it's an endless cycle. So yeah, I wish I wish they'd change the, the the special gimmick. But besides that, it is a very solid secondary. Um, the the only thing about these weapons is getting them getting them is so much effort you have to you have to so my only advice to you would be just play demos get your standing up collect resources and do it slowly don't grind for them because it will sap the fun out of the game having to mine like a thousand ores and fish endlessly and capture wildlife because if it's not your thing you're not going to like doing it and you have to sort of do everything to try and get as many grandmother tokens as you can so get it slowly take your time you're not missing much. They are very good, but there are better weapons. Um, I think that's me. I think that's everything for this video. Um, if you like what you saw, um, please subscribe. I I'd like subscribers. If I get to a thousand, I'd be very, very happy because I, I can actually um, earn money off doing this. So that would be very, very, very helpful for me. Um, and I can continue to keep doing it. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Peace.